Dresser Cuties! Today we're going to draw a Squishmallow Hedgehog. So let's get started. To draw this super cute hedgehog, we're going to first start by drawing an oval. So I'm going to come here and draw a nice size oval. This is where his nose and his mouth is going to be in. There, so a nice little size oval right there. And we're going to come to the top right here and draw another oval. So we're just going to draw his little nose. And then from there in the center, just bring a straight line down. At the bottom right here, I'm just going to add a very slight line just to cap it off. If you want to give him a smile, go ahead and just draw a curve right here. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come to the side in this area right here and draw a circle for his eyes. So same thing on the other side, All right here. And then let's make them draw so cute eyes. So come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side. There, so we have his eyes and it's already so cute, right? <laughs> we're going to come over here and we're going to start to draw his uh, little pattern right here over his nose that goes around his eye. So about right here, I'm just going to give myself two points so it's nice and even right there. And from up here, I'm going to go up with a curve around my eye. A little bit higher and then we're going to bring it around. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Go up. And so I'm just going to drag a point right across so it's about the same height on the other side. And bring it down. There. So nice and even on both sides. From there, we're going to start to come in with a slight curve. And we want this curve kind of ending at the bottom of where his snout is. So about right here, we're going to come down, bring it in a little bit. So about right here, bring it in and then come back out. So let's do the same thing over here. About right there, bring it in and then out. Okay, so then from there now, we can just go ahead and draw the rest of his body. So this part is all up to you. You want him um, fat and short or tall and long, it's all up to you. But we're, I'm aiming for kind of like an ovalish shape. So I'm just gonna keep bringing this down. And I'm gonna start to bring it in. And just go ahead and connect it. There. Okay, so then now to draw the outside. So we're going to come right here, close to this line right here, and we're just going to draw all the way up. So about right here, just... And this is my center, so I'm just going to come about, say, right here. Give myself a point so I know that's my highest point. Just helps me kind of gauge where to go. You don't have to do that if you just go ahead and draw a curve right across. And I'm just going to bring it down. And once again, I'm aiming be right there, just like the other side. And about right there, nice and even on both sides. And then I um, can go ahead and start bringing it down. So I'll flare it out just a little bit, just to make it nice and chubby. And then go ahead and go all the way down. So then we're aiming to make this part right here a little bit thinner. So we're just going to keep bringing it down. And we're just going to start to taper it in and connect.
there. Okay, so now let's draw his cute little ears. We're going to come about right here. And just draw a big curve and bring it in. And just come in here with a little curve right here. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Just going to drag some points across so I know where to go on the other side. So once again, same thing, just a curve and bring it back. And once again, the inside curve. Okay, so then now, um, well, before we put in the quills, let's give it a heart right here because it is my Draw So Cute Hedgehog. <laughs> from Squishmallows. And then now we can go ahead and draw all the little quills. So to draw the quills, just come in here at different angles and just draw a little angle line like that all over. Nice and simple. So you can add as many or as little as you want. Just go at different angles just to mix it up. These Squishmallows are super, super cute. I love them so much. I have a bunch. <laughs> I can't resist them. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. And thank you for loving them. I love having drawn so many for you so far. And I plan to keep drawing them for you. So keep looking out for them. Okay, so just here and there. Just add some angle lines. Thicken it up. Maybe some of them are shorter. Wherever you feel like you need to fill it up a little bit more, just add a little line. And I think that's pretty much it for this cute little hedgehog from um, Squishmallows. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.